Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 200, 323. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 317 to 323. Hey, in this video, we want to do a partial text lookup. So I, I want to return something. This is the lookup value ca cable and wire in it, wireless, but when I go through here, I want it to say this is what we want, cable and wireless. Uh, with some extra text here. So really, we want to uh, use this as a substring within this longer string and then return Mr. Williams. Now I actually saw the solution to this on the Mr. Excel uh, message board uh, with a great solution and I came up with a slightly different one and when there's duplicates uh, they'll do two different things. So let's see, this well, one I saw on the Mr. Excel uh, message board was just awesome equals VLOOKUP, we'll use VLOOKUP, but instead of just clicking on this value, we will uh, click on that value, but we'll do put wildcards on either side. That way, with wildcards, it'll find anything with the uh, text substring cable and wireless. So in quotes, double quote, asterisk, double quote. Now, the asterisk is a wild card that means as many characters as you want, one or more characters, ampersand to join it, and then ampersand, double quote, asterisk, double quote, comma, and now the rest of the view lookup is the same. The table array is going to be here, F4 to lock it, comma, the column number is 2 because the uh, name is from the second column here, and then comma, this is an exact match uh, lookup, so I'm going to put 0 and then control enter. And I can double click and send this down. All right, and it returns a, uh, an A because this one is not found, not found in there. All right, and here's another um, version of that, or a, a different formula with uh, the same result, or almost. It's the same result until you have duplicates. Equals lookup. Oh, so instead of a VLOOKUP, we're going to use lookup. And lookup, uh, when we do our uh, lookup uh, array here, will handle arrays. Now, the lookup value, I'm going to look up 2 raised to the 15. Now, why in the world that number right there? 2 to the 15 is 1 character more than the number of characters that are allowed in a cell. And that's going to help us with our second argument, the array here. We're going to do, actually, we're not using the array one. We're going to use lookup vector and re result vector. We're going to use search. And we're going to search for this comma within what? This whole range. This is, in essence, the first column of our table. And I'm going to hit F4 on that to lock it going down. That's hard to see because it's got the red background. Here, let me, uh, that's terrible there. Let me, uh, that, that's much better there. So uh, the lookup to, to the 15th. And then the search, the search will look for this within, this is a substring. And search will say where within the larger uh, string uh, what, the, what is the position that this starts? For example, right now it would give us the 1 because cable and wireless starts at the first character. If we were looking up cola with search within this text string, it would give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the 6th character. Now, the fact that we put an array of values here for the search second argument within text makes this an array because uh, search is only expecting a single text string there. Now I'm going to close parentheses, and I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to hit the F9 key to evaluate. You can see that it returns an array of values. Now right now, we just, because uh, the, the largest, this is text string, and it's finding where in the text string it is. So using the 2 to the 15th, one character bigger than the biggest possible text string, which means it'll always find uh, the value here. It looks through here. It can't find a number that big, so it returns that one. That will, uh, in essence, give us our array. Remember, one, two, three, this is the same size array here as this one. So it's going to find that position right there. I'm going to control Z to undo that. Comma. 
So lookup is it's looking there in this first vec in this first lookup vector. It has a in essence a, a, a number there. A true. It's looking this up and it gets a true there, comma. And now the result vector is going to be this right here. F4 F4 close parentheses. Whoop! I put a zero. Close parentheses. Control enter. It doesn't need a uh, control shift enter, even though this part is an array, because lookup, like some product, can handle an array. Control enter, and I'm going to double click and send it down. Now I'm going to uh, say uh, fill without formatting. Then I'm going to use that because I have some conditional formatting here that I need. So look, it works the same, the same, except for when you have duplicates. Now let's try uh, to do some <laughs> duplicates. Notice it says high times cable and wireless cables. I'm going to change this to an uh, just cable. And so now what happens? We're looking up cable and wireless. The VLOOKUP solution returns the first one because now there's duplicates. There's a cable and wireless there and a cable and wireless here. It's returning the first one, Mr. Williams. So the, the VLOOKUP one will return the first one. This one, the uh, lookup one, returns the last one because this big number, if there's multiple numbers in this array, it'll find the, the, the last one. So that is, um, and we could do one other test. Let's change, uh, there's a Dawn there. Let's change this to Dawn. And now uh, it found uh, the last one there, too. So for um, McDonald's here, right, Mr. Park? Mr. Park. But for this one, uh, for the lookup one, it found Mr. Jones, which is right there. All right, um, if you don't have duplicates, uh, boy, this formula right there is just awesome. I actually timed them, too, and this one's uh, faster than the, uh, the lookup one. All right, we'll see you next trick.